Hello, but it's Six Dog Killer X here. Welcome back to another Yu Gi Oh! deck profile. Today, we are going to be doing a deck profile for Zodiacs. So, let's get straight to it. So, starting off with one Coach Captain Bearman. Really useful. You can get this out pretty easy. Well, can okay, reduce his attack. Or you can um, use this to make all level 4 beast, monster, beast warrior type monsters on the field level 8 until the end of turn. Very useful in some situations. Uh, free Ghost Dog and Snow Rabbits again to prevent the use of spell and track or to effects. Um, Speed Terror Tops. These are the main cards for this sort of deck because you can one special summon it without one, because of nothing. Um, if you've got Nuclear Monsters, you can special summon it. So again, taking some two of these in a turn. And when this card is special summon, you can add another Speed Roid to from your deck to your hand. Um, we have one Speed Roid Takatomborg. Again, you can attribute this card to special summon one Speed Roid Tune of Monster in your deck. Um, Especially from this card, if you control another wind monster. Um, so, so many options. Yes, we have it two Zodiac Molrat, Rapier, sorry, Rapier. Detach one Exime Tail from. I'll oh, say, if this is used um, to does an Exime Tail from a Zodiac, it gains the effect of detaching Exime Tail to summon one Zodiac Rapier from your hand or deck. Really good. I mean, this is normal summon send a Zodiac card from your deck to the bit rod. Very useful again. We have three Zodiac Throwblades. So when it, most of them are like when it uses an XZ, it gains an effect for these. So you like wait, wait until the XZs. When this one is normal, so you just scroll one Zodiac card. If you do draw one card, not bad. Um, if this card attacks a Demonstration Monster, in fit piercing damage. So that one's like a me fairly meter crush effect on an XZ monster. Then we have Zodiac Whiptail. So if this is using as a material, um, if this card battles and opponent's monster, after damage calculation, banish the monster. Now that is a really, really good effect there. And you can also target one beast, warrior type, exeed you control, attach this card from your hand or field as an exeed material. Again, very, very useful just for getting those extra effects on. Moving on to the spell cards, we have a Cosmic Cyclone, which allows you to banish the spell and trap on the field. Free Fire Formation Tankers, which allows you to more easily get out your beast warriors, such as your Zodiac cards. We have my body as a shield, so when your opponent activates a spell or trap or monster effect or destroy a monster, pay 1500 life points to negate the activation. Rakeki, by the field. <laughs> the free Tune Twisters to get rid of um, opponent's uh, spells, obviously, and of course, discarding in this deck isn't the worst thing any anyway. So, so next we have one of the main and key cards of the deck, which is Zodiac Barrage. So you can special, so you can target one face-up card in the field and destroy it. And if you do special summon one Zodiac monster from your deck, super powerful effect. And then when this card is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target a Zodiac monster you control and attach this as an XZ material. Really, really good there. And of course, you have your standard, sort of standard traps. Three dimensional barriers to stop your opponent basically doing anything with their extra deck. <laughs> we have Quaking Mirror Force, which changes all types of monsters to face down defense. And any that change this position cannot change their uh, position again. We have a Solemn Warning, three Solemn uh, Strikes, Treasure Tribute, in case you get in a sticky situation. And we have a Zodiac Combo. So you target one Zodiac XZ monster you control and attach a Zodiac monster from your deck to that XZ monster as a material. And during either player's turn, except when this was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card, then target five Zodiac cards in your graveyard with different names and shuffle them into your deck and draw a card. That is insane. So you can get no, you can get your XZs back, you can get your normal monsters back, so it actually refreshes your deck. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And for the final card, which is again another field spell for these, we have a Zodiac, Zodiac sign. So all Zodiac monsters you control against fringe attack and defense. So there is two, so it depends on which situation you want to use them. Monsters your opponent control cannot target face up beast warrior type monsters you, you control for attacks, except the one with the highest attack. If a Zodiac monster you control will be destroyed by a card if you can destroy one monster in your hand or field instead of the Zodiac monster once per turn. Again, all depends on what situations you want. Again, all your various cards. So as we go to the extra step, we have one uh, Zodiac Bor Borbo. Said that right. Then we have the two Zodiac Broad Balls. Uh, this card gains attack and defense equal to the amount of attack and defense of all the uh, Zodiac monsters attached to it, which is pretty much what most of them do, to be honest. The Zodiac ones, along with the additional effects. Uh, while this card inflicts damage to your opponent, while it has 12 or more XE materials on it, you can send as many cards as possible from your opponent's hand and field to the graveyard and change this card to defense session. Wow, that's insane. A Z a Zodiac Dryden's again same effect as the last one except for this one you can attach a material and target one face of card and destroy it. We have a Zodiac Tiger Mortar. 
So again, similar to the last one, they said you can you can detach one material to target an Exegi material you control, one Zodiac monster in a Gale and attach that Zodiac monster to that Exegi monster's material. We have some other standard monsters, Abyss Dweller, we have a Coach King Giant Trainer, used with uh, Captain Be Bear Bill. We have Degust Remwolf for resetting the deck a bit, Diamond Direwolf, MX Saber Invoker, and then we have number FO Utopic Future. Okay, so that is it for this step. Profile if you enjoyed, don't forget to punch the like button, leave a comment down below, or subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure follow me on Twitter, down below as always. So that's been safe, thank you so much for watching. Bit X Star Color X, I'll see you in the next video.